Hey, Psych2Goers, welcome back to another video. Do you have trouble getting out of bed? Do you groan at the thought of all the things you need to accomplish during your day? Everyone has experienced a lack of motivation before, whether it's your job, your schoolwork, or even your chores. It can be a frustrating and stressful feeling knowing that there are things that need to be taken care of, but for some reason, you can't get yourself up to do. You might think it's related to the task or because you just don't have the time but there are actually many more reasons that may be contributing to your lack of motivation. So keep watching for eight reasons why you feel unmotivated. Number one, you're working for the wrong reasons. Have you ever asked yourself why you're doing the things that you're doing? Is it because it's something that your parents want or perhaps you feel pressured by society to have and do what everyone else is doing? As common as these reasons are, the best way to stay motivated is if you're working for something you truly want. If it's for the sake of someone else or because you're conforming to the norm, you're more likely to lose interest and get discouraged and unmotivated. Number two, you don't think you have control over your life. What do you do when things go wrong? It can be tempting to blame other people. After all, who wants to admit fault? However, while other factors do affect you, you are the one who controls your life. If you constantly blame poor results on things like other people, luck, or the environment, you might start to think that what you do doesn't matter. This can make it easier to lose motivation and passion. However, if you admit your fault and take responsibility, you're acknowledging your control over your own life. This can make it easier to stay motivated since you're directly making the changes in your life. Number three, you think you should have accomplished more by now. Do you feel defeated when you don't see any immediate results from all the work you've done? As hard as it may be, you should try to remember that not all improvement can be seen during the process. With activities like playing an instrument, drawing, or singing, you may struggle to see yourself making any improvements at all, since there may not be such a stark difference between one day and the next. And when you don't see results, it's easy to lose the drive to keep working. But putting in the effort to try each day is already an accomplishment in itself. Take it one day at a time, and someday soon you'll look back and realize how far you've actually come. Number four, you set unrealistic goals. What type of goals do you set for yourself? While setting goals is a great way to keep yourself focused and driven, setting the wrong type of goals can have the opposite effect. For example, you may set yourself the goal of becoming a professional chef, but have no idea how to accomplish something so big. Because of this, you may end up feeling overwhelmed, anxious, and unmotivated. So instead, set small goals that build up to a larger one, that way you can avoid letting the bigger picture overpower all the smaller, equally important milestones. Number five, you only focus on the possibility of failure without thinking of the rewards. Were you ever afraid to try something new? It's easy to feel unmotivated when you let your fear get the best of you. Perhaps you kept thinking of how everything could go wrong or what other people would think. While it's normal to be afraid, it's also important to remember the good things that may come out of it. Instead of thinking, what if I can't do it? you may want to try thinking of the valuable experience you can get just by trying. Number six, your personal life is out of balance. Have you noticed that your personal life is out of balance whenever you feel unmotivated? Your personal life plays a huge factor in how you feel about the work that you do. If you've recently broken up with a significant other, lost a friend, or experienced some major change, it's likely that you'll feel unmotivated and unengaged with whatever you do. Working too much may lead to boredom and having too much going on in your personal life may become too overwhelming. This is why balance is key. Number seven, you're spending too much time on social media. How much time do you spend on social media? As fun as it can be to scroll for hours on end, you may end up comparing yourself to others. Whether you're comparing your looks, achievements, or lifestyle to other people's, doing so may leave you feeling upset, insecure, and unmotivated with yourself. This is why it's so important to remember that social media involves snapshots of people's best moments and to compare yourself to someone's highlights will always feel impossible. Number eight, you don't believe in yourself. Do you have faith in your own abilities? Believing in yourself can help you improve your happiness and confidence, which is not only good for your motivation, but also for your general health. As you gain more self-confidence, you may find yourself sure of your abilities and therefore more motivated to work towards your goals. The journey to believing in yourself is long and difficult for anyone, 
So don't be discouraged if you're not there yet. Take it one step at a time. Are you feeling unmotivated? Did you relate to any of these points we've mentioned? Feel free to share your experiences, feedback, or thoughts in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like and share this video with those who might benefit from it. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell icon to get notified whenever Psych2Go posts a new video. The references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video.